All right, so uh, I'm recording you at the, this uh, class work. If you need this one, you let me know, okay? All right, so I got five questions there. Okay, let me see. Number eight, now we gonna move number eight. Yep, over here. Okay, yeah, Brenda, don't, don't make a rush, okay? Yeah, take your time and send it to me. All right, so this is number eight. Uh, I'm gonna make big. That is it better? Okay. Okay, for which value of x is this is x? Okay. When you take a look over here, Okay, let me check it out, okay? When X is one, this is working. That is, I think that's the best way. When X equal one, put this number. <clears throat> w one plus T one equals, that is one, this is true. W one is how much? This is what, W one, when X equals one, W one, this is a W one value, negative one. Okay, t1, this is about t of one. When t is negative one, that is negative three. So negative one plus negative three is not one. Okay. The second one, when x is two, we'll write down w2 plus t of x is two equals, it is still two, you have to check it out. What is the value of W of two? W of two, when T is two. This one, when X is two, this is W of two, three. T of two is negative one. Yep, that is equals to, that's true. Eight is what B is the correct. Okay, we're gonna try one more. C, when X is C, W three, and t x is three, this is still three, w three over here. This is w three numbers, four. t of three numbers, when x is three, this is t of three, this number, right? How much one? That is five, okay? That is not three. So choice B is that, so you need to check right all the numbers, okay? Yeah, that is the number eight. Next one is number 13. So we have the equation, t is a constant, x is a variable, if the equation has no real solutions, no solutions, which of the following could be the value of t? How can you solve this one? T is a constant, just some numbers. Maybe you can try this one. We have a two graph, y1 equals two x squared minus four x. And y2 y two equals some constant t. It can be one, two, three, four, which is what? Horizontal line, right? Horizontal line. Horizontal. What is this graph? Can you find the graph of this one? Y equal to X squared minus four X.
What is the X over symmetry? Maybe you can change this one in a uh, vertex bulb that is better. Okay, Y1, you can change this one to X squared minus two X and that's it. But to make a square, we need some number over here, which is this number, negative two and divided by two square, which is one will be here. And minus one, right? Because we add one, we subtract one again in the same side. So, but this negative one move out, but when you move out, it should be multiplied by two. And that is negative two, that's it. Now this vertex form is y equals two inside three terms will be x minus one square minus two, isn't it? I'm gonna show it the other way, okay? I just use my vertex form. That's why sometimes change the vertex is what we need. When x is one, why is it negative two? This is negative two. The graph looks like this way. That's the graph, when x equals zero, y equals zero. No solids, y squared is t. t should be over here, there's no intersections. And there is no solutions. If T is over here, negative two is actually uh, in intersection, intercept at one point, it has the right solutions. X equal one is a solution. When X equal one, they have intersections. Okay, when Y is negative two. When Y is negative one over here, always what, two solutions there. From here, always two solutions. Two intersections all the way up there. But this value of t, when x, y equals negative three, negative three is down over here, right? There is no intersection. Okay, so t is uh, negative three, no solution. So yesterday we did another way, use what discriminant. That's why we go over this one. Discriminant is very useful to describe their root. You have to quadrate, quadrate, okay? 2x squared minus 4x and minus t equals zero, right? That's just step one. This is a quadrate equations. What is discriminant? Discriminant is b squared minus four times ac. b is a negative of four square root of positive 16 minus four and a to two and c is what's still negative two. No solution means why well, imaginary. If this number is less than zero, that is no solutions. Try this one. Negative eight minus t is a positive eight t less than zero. Eight t must be less than negative 16, right? and divided by eight, C is one less than negative two. If C is less than negative two, that is imaginary. Imaginary means there is no intersection. Imaginary root means no intersection. Is it okay? And also maybe you approximate, you can do this way. Because y uh, equals two x minus 40, we know that the graph of this one approximates in fact the form two x is out x minus two, right? It's gonna be past what zero and two of here. The graph looks like this way. Anyway, we need to find this one because what? this extra symmetry, what is that? Middle of this point, always. This is zero, this is two, middle point is x is one. After that, put this number x is one into the equation quickly. Two times one, one minus two is what? Negative. Negative one, negative two, right? 
this point is negative two. That is another y for t should be over here, that row intersection. So choice A is the answer, okay? You have to memorize this one. Last times so we went over discriminant, okay? But better use discriminant over here, or if you can easily make a graph, use the graph, that's a good try, okay? That's a good approach. That is number 18. A uh, certain, sorry. All right, the next one, number 16. Move on, number 16. This is number 16. What is the one possible value of B? This is the kind of what exponent. Okay. When you change 16 in exponent form, what is possible value of B? It may be a lot. A can be one, right? A cannot be one, right? One to the 16, well, no, no way we can. Maybe you can use, right? Uh, you can express this in the exponent form. The first one is two to the four, that is 16. Or four square also 16 too. or 16 to the what, zero, one, there is also exponent form. Okay. So now take the first. If we use this form, a to the b over four equals two to the four, isn't it? A and b both are positive numbers. So if you say a to two, what is b? It should be equal, right? Exponent equal. b over four equals four. b can be 16. That is one possible answer. Okay, if we want to choose this way. a to the b over four now, four squared. But in this case, base number is four. Base number is four, exponent is b over four should be equal to two. So now b equals a, that's another possible answer. Or you can use this one too, 16 to the one. A to 16, this number should be what is that? Must be equal to one, isn't it? So b equals to one, four is another possible answer. That's enough. Okay, you don't have to go some other number. Okay, all right, now that's the number 16. All right, number 90. Oh, no 90? Something wrong. I did the wrong work. This one last time homework, right? Everybody can tell me, is this last time homework? Yes. But only it's wrong, right? Only 18. Hmm. Let me something wrong over here. No. Nope. Oh, maybe we missed one number 19 and 20. I cannot see number 19 and 20. Is this correct homework? Mino? 
Is this correct? Yes. Can you guys tell me something about this? Uh, I don't know what happened. Is this your homework, right? This section nine. Yeah, I think that was your homework. Yeah, it was our but homework. There's number 19 and 20. I don't have a number 19 and 20. Is it? Okay, let me check this, okay? Uh, I don't know what happened. Okay, anyway, I'll send out another homework. Okay, it's gonna be section four because you have a whole weekend. Okay, or the weekend you're gonna have right section four, okay, for your homework. Okay, so uh, I'll let you know uh, your score, maybe uh, uh, this night when I finish my whole class, yeah, it's around the 10 o'clock. So I send it out to you, okay? So we go over the test uh, next on uh, Tuesday, okay? So before that, I want to try, okay? and find out what's wrong with your answer, okay? All right, thank you so much. Uh, I think we don't have enough time. Okay. Okay, now let's finish today's uh, class, okay? So I send it out to a, uh, the homework this night, okay? All right, thank you so much. I'll see you next time, okay? Thank you. Thank you. Bye, thank you.